Uh, what's going on YouTube? James, disc golfing drones every day. Uh, starting another new series, kind of run in tandem with our disc reviews. I'm gonna be building the bag, I'm gonna be building my bag. I've been primarily an Innova player for a few years. I really do like the Innova plastic. However, as I've been throwing these Lone Star discs, I've really grown quite fond of them. So I'm gonna see what they can do in my bag. We're gonna start with the, uh, the dome, Copperhead and the buoy, which we've currently reviewed. I've got some other Lone Star discs that I've had in my bag already. So I'll have the Nimitz, Jackrabbit, Blue Bonnet, and a Lone Wolf that I'll be throwing today as well. We're out here at Brentwood Park. We've seen this before, we reviewed the Copperhead out here. We're gonna play nine holes. Nick's gonna be kind of coaching me throughout, recommending discs, recommending lines. He is a pro, I am an amateur, so he's gonna be coaching me and teaching me as we go through and learn this Lone Star bag and maybe uh, turn into a Lone Star player. All right, stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure YouTube knows that you like the content. And we'll see if we can get you out a cool little uh, round and show you what these discs can do in gameplay. All right, we're on hole one. Brentwood, about 235, 250. Um, be throwing the copperhead, a little hyzer right at the tree. That'll put. I'm throwing the jackrabbit. Uh, nice little subtle hyzer. Stay in right on time. That'll work. Shot. What? Put him with the jackrabbit. Uh, hole two, 220, 235. It's right over. It's almost the same as hole one, just okay. right to uh, left swinging shot. It's stuck behind this uh, mesquite tree right over here, so I'm gonna throw copperhead again. Yeah, get some height on it. Get some height and see if we can fade back in. And Give it some power. Back. Give it some height and power. Height and power. That one was a little too wide to the right. Yeah. A little too wide. You playing CBD GA rules? Yeah. I'm gonna be throwing my Delta Walker. Great soft plastic. There you go. Really overstate. But it's okay. Almost aced it. Nice shot. Already, nothing wrong with the par. But oh, three, three hundred, three twenty-five. We take a little overstable forehand line with the buoy. Press it on some flex and see if we can skip back to the back. Commit to the line. That was a great shot. Alrighty, I'm throwing my Emerson Keith Founders Plastic Tombstone. Come on. A little bit lower version of what, James? Ooh, I'm gonna anticipate a big player skip to the right. This park. Oh, it's still rolling. There you go. Oh, Nate, we're finally getting into those hot, humid days. In Texas, I don't enjoy it. Yeah, of course. You gotta get out in the morning like we are right now to get a good, decent yeah. round in before it gets too hot. Yeah. Got a chance. Nice putt, nice birdie. That's a way to be, way to be. That was cool how James just uh, retrieved that guy's disc out yeah, of the water for him. I was on the phone, sorry. I was blind. I just like tap, tap, I saw tapped you. it, and, it, and I felt the, the weight. Yeah. Oh, we got one. I saw it bending, yeah, you had the, you had the go, keeper. Go fishing. Yeah. All right, hole four, I'm um, throwing the dome. I'm gonna do a nice 
hyzer flip to flex over the fence. Hopefully drop it down by the basket. Let's see what happens. Oh, my high enough. It's too low. You might have gone underneath it. I think if, I'm green. If you're touching grass, you're good. I'm green. I'm going to be throwing my little mockingbird to get it up over the fence and let it fade at the last second. Okay. Dick. Oh, God. So based on our rules here in San Angelo, you get real close, you can see I'm touching grass. So she's in bounds. So I'm gonna grab it, go around to the other side. Look at that, look at that. Great putt, buddy. Hole five, I'm gonna be throwing the buoy. I'm gonna try and get something stable. Um, get out there high and far. It's about 375, so Let's see what we can do. Big old skip, nice. Good shot. Throwing me my trusty Lima Warbird. Ooh. sidewalk you're safe so if you're still tuned in by this point we do appreciate it uh, please subscribe if you haven't already like the video share the content check out our disc reviews ace runs and follow flight series with the FPV perspective super cool you'll see a little bit of it in the disc reviews as well uh, we appreciate y'all sticking around getting new subscribers every day uh, trying to get content out every day a little computer issue building my new PC, but it should be up soon and we'll be editing like lightning. All right, back to the video. I'm gonna throw the copperhead on the shot. No, I'm changing my I'm gonna throw the jack right Good up shot. It's a pretty day today, Nick. It's just hot. No, nah, it's not even hot. It's humid. It's like that East Texas humidity. Yeah, it's almost like we're in Florida. All right, we're on hole six. Short hole. I'm going to throw the buoy. See if I can just get a nice bike hyzer. Let it dip down. A little short. Uh-oh. You know what time it is. Uh-oh. Let's go two time. Oh, huh? my eyes are going bad, so <laughs> of course, clean up the danger nick. Don't litter. Nick, were you OB, bud? Yeah, I was OB. I'm sorry. That's a good paw save. Blue bomb it. All right, hole seven. We've thrown the buoy again. Uh, it's about 2.30, 2.45. Hooks around to the left, so try and get it out flat. Let the fade bring it back. I'm gonna get a skip. Nope. No skip. Little too too low. low. All right, guys, I'm gonna throw my pretty AJ Carey Brazos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shout out AJ Carey. You may see him pop in here. If I remember. Oh my Ooh, gosh. Oh, buddy. Oh my gosh. Shot. Good shot. That's so funny. If we my ace right there, first take, 
and we didn't ace <laughs> after so many attempts during so, the uh, ace run and fall flights episode. Fun little side story to what Nick's uh, referring to is we spent three hours out here a trying good, to get a good episode while. two's ace. Yeah, we aced and we right off the between bat. Between six and seven, he aced right away, and then we threw this hole for shit, an hour and a half. And uh, yeah. he got close like that probably 30 times. I hit the, hit basket, the basket so many times. I mean, do you blame me? You hit one ace, you want more. Yeah. But certainly that's too much to ask. So. Jack grab it, throw the throw in. Okay. Oh, wow. That was so cool how you just barely missed your GoPro on your jump. Oh, baby. Look how close. Woo! I mean, hey. it don't get much closer than that, man. You don't get much closer than that. I think. What, what, would, uh, what would Philo say? It's about one pace off the pin. Yeah, one pace. <laughs> Alrighty. Four down to two down. Four to two. Hole eight, uh, currently Nick's four down, I'm two down. This one's about 400 feet. 400 feet, I'm gonna throw the Nimitz again. We got a little bit of a headwind. Yeah, uh, slight so headwind. Flat to the right. Yep. And uh, see what happens. He's gonna use the alternate tee box because this one, this I'll is what you call right rolling here. your ankles USA. That looks perfect. Right down the middle, nice flex shot, buddy. Look at that. Damn. Pin high to the right. That's good. Can't push up, push uh, off your back foot really that much when you're on downhill. All right, here comes James, 50 footer all day. Come on, baby, fade. Oh, good try. A little more. Ooh, no. Hey, clap for me. Thank you. Here you go, bud. All right, I'm gonna throw the Nimitz again. Uh, hole nine, this one's probably right at 300. Um, I'm gonna flex it through this little tunnel. Yep. And hopefully it'll fade back and yeah. we'll see. Low ceiling at the gap. Wrap it up. Oh, early release. Step into that edge of the box. Oh no. I'm in bounds. Might have fell in the creek. No, we'll I see. It did. My disc don't do that. <laughs> Ow, that hurt though, dude. Are you all right? I put my pinky toe right into the end of that court, that tee box. I'm gonna throw this beautiful pink Bravo Frio. Ooh, it is pretty. pretty. Around it. Woo! It's parked. Good shot, bud. And think you tapped the pole. Tink, tink. So, contrary to what Nick said, I did not go in the water. Well, James got glasses. I don't. So, he's got x ray vision on those things. Jackrabbit again. I do like this disc. Yeah, give it a little pop of a hyzer right around that, up on top of that tree. See that little vertical line you see there to the edge? Yeah. Perfect distance for a little snap. Oh, a little inside. He's gonna go over by the picnic table. Oh, the low ceiling got him. And I just have this left for a tap in. That's all she wrote. We're gonna take a bogey on this one. That's okay. What do you think, Nick? I think the Lone Star just looked good in your bag, man. First Lone Star round. Lone Star only round. And you're missing so many good molds, man. So many good molds to look forward to. Well, I'm actually pretty impressed. Uh, that was my first Lone Star only round. I had one OB, it was on hole nine. No, that's wrong. I had one, I had zero OBs, one bogey. So, which is actually really good for this course. I normally will bogey two or three holes just because there's so much OB, but kind of fond of the uh, the Lone Star disc. Plastic feels great. I will say if there's anything about Lone Star that sets it apart is the plastic. 
Uh, I, I don't know what research or experimenting they've done, but this plastic is incredible. Uh, stay tuned, hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna be doing these every week. I'm gonna be adding the discs that we reviewed into my bag that week and then we'll play around with it so you can see how I can use it and play. If you're enjoying the content, please like, please subscribe, please share our content. Make sure you check out our disc review videos. Uh, make sure you check out our ace runs and follow flights. Uh, follow flights and ace runs. Flip them, switch them, same thing. We appreciate y'all watching. This is Disc Golf and Drones Every Day, building the bag Lone Star style.